Okay, my dad's coming. You don't know when, because I didn't show you. He's coming. He's guys. I just got back from dropping Patrick off at school and getting ready to head off to the pool for today's technique swim workout. And I'm glad, I'm still kind of recovering from the math test uh, on Wednesday. And Saturday actually, tomorrow, my Saturday, um, I'm doing a math bike test. So same kind of basic, you know, staying in the zone two, top of zone two, and uh, just seeing what kind of distance I can go uh, given that and also checking average power numbers there. But that's on Saturday. So today's swim is going to be just 700 yards. Uh, I'd say, I think 600 of it is using fins and snorkel or band and pull with snorkel. So really just kind of easy swimming and very, again, it's just that it's a technique focused day. What I'm gonna be focusing on are a couple of things. One is gonna be trying to get that quick catch. So just working on, once my hand is getting into the bot, it enters the water, fingertips first, come down, really try to just start moving. Um, a lot of times there's a lot of drag created when your arm enters the water and it kind of just lags out in front for a little bit. So I'm really trying to work on getting the arm in and just setting myself up. A lot of it's gonna be using that tempo trainer too, just playing with those numbers and getting, you know, the faster I can get that turnover, uh, I think the faster I'll be moving through the water, as long as I'm doing it efficiently. Um, another big focus of the day is gonna be arm channel swimming, which is, I guess, just kind of like it sounds. When your arm enters the water, you kind of want to follow the straight channel all the way from front, pull down, and out the back. Um, a lot of times when we're swimming, we have the tendency either to cross over in front of us, you know, in front of our head here, or even somewhere down here in the stroke, or we tend to go really wide uh, with our hand. So uh, a lot of what I want to practice today is gonna be getting that hand in the water, catching it quick, but also staying in that channel, pushing it out and back, you know. Um, and then lastly will be just kind of like the last swim workout, always in every swim, just really focusing on keeping the body really tight and on top of the water. Uh, so to prevent any kind of sinking leg uh, or drag scenarios. Um, just that, keeping the top of the head, the, the back of the head I mean, uh, the top of the butt back there and your heels, really focusing on keeping those at the top of the water. Um, and a lot of that, I, a lot of that is due to just head positioning. So just making sure you're either looking right down at the bottom of the pool or maybe 15, 20 degrees out in front of you, not too far. Um, and that a lot of times will help, help, uh, where the head goes, the legs, the feet follow. So if you're kind of looking in the right spot, feet should drift up. And uh, that'll kind of top it off. Like I said, about 700 yards. I might do a little bit more, um, just kind of to warm up. 700 seems really short to me. Uh, but I'm also gonna have Evelyn at the pool with me and so we'll play around and all that. So just plan to spend probably about an hour in the pool having some fun in the water. And uh, yeah, and then kind of just relax for the rest of the Friday and jump into Saturday's math bike test. I'm up with my dad swimming today, and oh, 
Uh, I love this day. It is the awesomest day ever, ever, ever. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. That mean to do that. Okay, my dad's coming. You don't know when, because I didn't show you. He's coming. He's guys. Already waiting. It's a hot one. I beat you. Yeah. Yes. It was good. In case it's first time watching or you just don't know yet that uh, there's no session at the Y complete without a trip into the sauna. Try to do about 20 minutes minimum. Uh, with the kids, I'll let them stand for about 10 minutes and then kick them out over to the uh, to the baby pool and just kind of wait it out until I can finish my time. Um, so that's what's happening, man. That's what we do. It's almost done. Swim felt great. Get out of here, run a couple, uh, just got to run to the store real quick. See if we can find some toilet paper. <laughs> Good God. Hey guys, there's no toilet paper out there. This virus has got Everybody, I don't know why toilet paper. Do we get all our toilet paper from other countries? This, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna go see if we can find some. We didn't have any luck yesterday. Crazy. And right? some English bread. And English bread. Yeah, we love our English muffins. All right. Later. Bye. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, subscribe down below. Leave some comments. Tell us what's working and what's not. And uh, hope you enjoy the weekend. Out oh, you out there. Yeah. Okay. Get out there, crush those workouts, sign up for a maybe a local race under 500 people. I think it'll be safe. I don't know. It's hard to say what's going on with this. Uh, this It's worldly, I guess. I mean, I'm trying not to freak out too much, but you got to at least take a few measures, put them into place. Wash your hands. Don't cough on people. Just be chill. Stay at home if you feel sick. All right. That's it from us. Until next time. Peace out. Bye.